Hello, and welcome to the Telescope Makers Workshop. My name is Francis O'Reilly, and I'll be your host this evening as we discuss polishing optical flats. Polishing optical flats is the process by which we, after fine grinding, take our flat and turn it from something that looks like this. As you can see, this has been rough ground with, well, you can't see, but down to uh, three micron uh, aluminum oxide. Take it from something that looks like that and make it something that looks like this. As you can see, this is clear on both sides. This has been polished. As you will recall, I'm making three two-sided optical flats. I've already polished out two of them completely. I'm now going to do the third. There are several items needed when you polish a telescope mirror. You need a pitch lap. I've poured a pitch lap, trimmed it, and the pitch lap is ready to go. You obviously need the piece that you're working on, in this case a double-sided optical flat. We'll be working on one side at a time. And the other item you need is a form of uh, polishing fluid. I use number 85 uh, rare earth liquid polish that I purchased from Universal Photonics in Long Island. I purchased it in a very large quantity, which is all they sold at, the smallest they sold it. Uh, it's uh, five kilograms. And it's settled, so you have to shake it. I poured some into a little container that I purchased from Edwin Scientific. And before I use it, I shake it. One uh, One uh, sprinkling of uh, the rare earth polishing compound per polishing session should be sufficient. Other people use different types of polishing compounds. Rouge, both red and black, were favorite. Black was considered uh, for a very fine polish. Also, people used cerium oxide, straight cerium oxide. I personally have used this uh, rare earth polishing liquid and I like it very much. It's very fast acting. I can polish out a seven inch blank in about two and a half hours, where with Rouge, I was going about uh, an hour and a half to two hours per inch of uh, diameter. So it would have taken me roughly 14 hours to have polished out a seven inch optical flat as I'm doing here. I also want to make sure my pitch lap stays nice and trim and about it should be relatively soft and about once an hour I'll need to trim the pitch lap to make sure that uh, it retains its groove so that the polishing liquid flows. I generally go for about a half hour at a time with the polishing. When I polish I also like to have a bottle of water. When I polish, I also like to have a water bottle, a spray bottle that you can buy from the Home Depot available to wet my lap. I only put the polishing liquid on once per session and a clock so that I can keep track of how long I've been polishing. I like to alternate with my, starting with my uh, optical flat on top or my mirror on top, and I do that for about 15 minutes. And then I go to my pitch lap on top and I do that for about 15 minutes. Now, personally, I have a tendency to concave uh, the piece that I'm working on, and with an optical flat, I don't want it concave, I don't want it convex, I want it flat. And so I may go for a little bit longer uh, with the pitch lap on top, maybe an extra 15 minute session or two, uh, than with the tool on top, or I'm sorry, with the uh, optical flat on top. The reason being that when I'm working something on top, I'm working the center and thereby deepening the curve and when I'm working with the pitch lap on top I'm working the edge and thereby making it more convex or in this case flatter. That seems to work fairly well for me. The substrate for my pitch lap is simply two seven inch blanks that have been uh, RTV silicon bonded together to make a very firm uh, surface. I'm doing this on what I call a Parker barrel, just a wooden stand, a circular wooden stand, 
that I use for polishing purposes.